a new star season alpha 3.22 patch just hit the eptu and we're going straight into it this time around the testing focus remains at stability testing additional derelict settlement that's a new one um player here updates mineable balances procedural fps recoil and weapon balance and arena commander multi crew all right there's some known issues which i'm not going to read through this all right under feature updates under character it says updated hair art and geometry polish pass before we move forward i'd like y'all to know that the goal for this channel is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this month and i cannot do it without you guys so if you watch content from this channel regularly please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button let's move on under the location category they have inhabited derelict settlements it says inclusion of 15 new derelict settlements with both mission gameplay social elements and shops these new inhabited settlements are spread throughout the wilderness of hurston and microtech using the restaurant tools with a larger expanded library of new and existing assets some locations are accessible via the star map while other new settlements are more discreet and appear behind missions all npcs at these locations are neutral make up a population of independent civilians and members from the duster faction have been updated to use the new hair and faction clothes new hurston locations include zephyr makers point ludlow pickers field finn's foley weeping cove cutters rig repel and the new microtech locations includes frostbite razor edge bloodshot ridge harper's point aster's clearing moorland hills and dunborough on the gameplay they have updates for the inventory openable cargo containers it says 322 adds openable cargo containers allowing players to be able to store commodities and items these new 1 2 4 and 8 su containers can be purchased and sold through shops and dropped from your location inventory into into ship cargo grid these new cargo containers allow content to be sold individually as well as the containers themselves in which case any unsold content will be sent to the inventory the container is being held in this also includes work for tracked beams that will make it so cargo is locked onto cargo grid when the ship is locked by the door integrity meaning as long as the integrity is sufficient cargo cannot be removed from the cargo grid except by the owner or party members it is considered a law infraction if stolen off of a cargo grid in a monitored zone this means breaching you can breach and steal that's awesome it says overall balance pass to put structural salvage earnings more in line with what it is intended this update will increase the base amount of time it takes to run disintegration and fracturing and reduce the amount of construction material gained and reduce the internal storage buffer of the reclaimer to 140 SCU it was 360 before I believe and the vulture to 12 SCU this was 14 before along with this comes another mechanic to slightly offset these changes to be more skilled based this is good this includes an alignment field that reduces the time it takes for disintegration as well as giving more material depending on distance that the player is from the ideal spot this is nice I like them adding the skill base mechanic in here says structural salvage ui vfx polish pass nice and uh, temporary remove the hall a from the salvage mission pool yeah this the hall a is not able to you're not able to uh disintegrate it or fracture it at all so under bug fixes they have they fixed an issue causing entities such as cargo boxes to slide on all ship lifts during animation under suits are permanently lost when you equip a helmet that's a good fix Argo SRV sometimes cannot re-engage the tow beam on ground vehicles after losing a tow vehicle through quantum travel. Once you sell from a container, the item will disappear from the sub category. So that's pertaining to shopping kiosks. Also for shopping kiosks, it says purchasing items in the inventory of an armor, backpack, cargo box, or via the sub location drop down allows you to ignore item capacity they also fix an issue where headlight brightness is extremely low for the mist prospector and they also fix an issue causing double personal and local inventory tabs to appear along with this they have one client crash seven server crashes a server deadlock also before i let you go my organization phase one industries is now recruiting new and veteran players if you're interested you can find our discord in the description 
down below make sure to leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video